Welcome back. We're going to show you some beautiful wedding gowns. Thanks to David's Bridal, their people were so nice to bring some beautiful gowns over. Did you know that one out of every four brides that walks down the aisle to say, I do, is wearing a gown from David's Bridal? So they know a lot about bridal gowns. So we're going to show you a variety of different assortments of gowns. They have more than a thousand different gowns and more than a hundred different styles, and they didn't bring them all. <laughs> but they did bring a few examples of some beautiful gowns from which to choose this season. So we're going to show you some of those right now. Chisa here is wearing an exquisite ballroom style gown. It's this beautiful puffy gown, I just love it. It has a satin bodice, it has a sweetheart neckline, it's because it's the shape of a heart, and it's strapless, which is very popular this season. It has a lot of beads on it, and this tulle skirt also is embellished with the beads. And it comes down into a chapel length train, and a chapel length train is six feet from the waist to the bottom of the train. And she looks absolutely gorgeous. She looks like a princess. This is one of my favorite styles of, ball, of uh, wedding gowns. Now we have a different look, very different look, but equally fascinating. Courtney here, beautiful Courtney, is in an ivory. This is actually a two-piece. What it is, underneath here, we have your A-line strapless dress with beads on it. And then over it, she has a chiffon duster that's also beaded, and it is a, with a chapel-length train. They're getting a lot of requests this year for strapless dresses, which are beautiful. They're fine, but sometimes they want something to add a little modesty to put something over the strapless. So the bride is happy she has a strapless, and the mother is happy that she has the duster over her gown. So there's Courtney, and she does look beautiful in that. Now we have Tresha. Tresha has yet a totally different look here. This is an asymmetrical ball gown, wedding gown. It's also strapless, which is very popular. It has this is the, the pleat, the inverted pleat with beading on it. This is a totally different look. It does have a train. And uh, Tresha looks beautiful. This is a different look. By the way, I should mention, this A-line, this is one of the most popular styles. This would be good for a lot of different figure types. This is extremely flattering and has a beautiful silhouette to it. So Tresha looks great in that. Now we're going to show you a different look because this is part of their couture selection. This one has, this is different than all of them in another way. This has a lot more handwork involved. This is an ivory design. It's a two-piece. Again, the strapless. It has a sweetheart neckline. The thing that distinguishes this is they're illustrating color. They're getting to get a little bit more color in the wedding gowns these days. This has beading and it has embroideries of pink, green, blue, and gold. This also has a chapel length train. And I want you to get a close-up of this train. This is an exquisite train with extensive hand-worked beading and embroidery. Just take a look at that. This makes a real statement. This is an unusual wedding gown that, it, that someone would remember for their entire life. And yet it's, it has a classic look, and yet this has a difference to it. So, all the dresses are very different, but they're all beautiful. But don't go away. We're going to show you a gown that has a completely different look to it, different than all of these. So don't go away. We'll be back. <laughs> 